In the Explorer, you can perform calculations on existing measures and use the results to create a new measure that's not part of your dataset. These are called derived measures. You can customize the number format for derived measures and even apply a new label to them. In this compare table, let's start by creating a derived measure. We'll apply a number format and rename the derived measure later. In the Fields panel, click Add Derived Measure. Give the derived measure a name. Let's call it Margins for now. Save your newly created derived measure to the lens. You'll notice margins added to the derived measures list in the Data Fields panel. It's now time to specify how the margins are calculated. Let's use the Query Editor to do that. Alternatively, you can create a new column with the same name as your derived measure in the Compare table, and use the Formula Editor to specify the calculations for margins. But in instances where you need to use complex calculations, use the Query Editor. Let's update the query to calculate profit margins as the ratio of profit to sales. In the SACL statements, be sure to use the same name for profit margin as the derived measure you created. Let's run the query when we're done updating the SACL. You'll now see a new column added to the compare table below. Now let's specify a new format and change the label for the derived measure. To do that, let's switch to the compare table mode. In the Fields panel, navigate to the Derived Measures section. Let's rename the derived measure to Profit Margins. Next, let's specify a number format for Profit Margins. Click the down arrow next to Profit Margins to reveal its context menu. Now, click Format Numbers and select Percentage. To apply your changes, click Save and Confirm. And that's how easily you can create and format derived measures.